This is a drone motor, and I'm surrounded by hundreds of them. Drone motors, drone motors, drone motors, drone motors. Ooh, cookies. And IFAX. Nice IFAX. So I'm in Kramatorsk, alone at Tilda's place, from Blue Gula Billen, and she's got fast internet, and I'm uploading my YouTube while I can. You know, someone said recently in the comments, and I read them because I learn, I'm not into these interviews, they're too slow for me. Well, if you donate and support, and maybe not even me, maybe you donate it into something else, Ukraine. Like, I, these aren't my drone motors. You know, they're, they're pretty cool, but they're not mine, i.e. not your money. All the people you see in these interviews are people that I I know and trust, and I've given a significant portion of resources of yours. So they can talk as long or as little as they want. And if you want to hear what they have to say, it's for you to listen. And as far as my relationship with them, let me be judged by the company I keep. Thank you. This is Andre's interview. It's good to see you. Nice to see you again. How are things going? Uh, during last hour meeting, I spent so much time, so much hard work, like usual, you know. <clears throat> For this time, we lose some good guys, lose some good people, kill many enemies, but first, uh, that we lose our peoples. It's the war that we have on this war. Mm, if we speak about previous, I want to um, give some information about previous time you bring us some batteries, you remember? It mm -hmm. was a uh, little bit smaller, maybe, I know, don't know, China production. Yeah. And uh, But quantity of these batteries give us a very big deal because uh, most of our people can work one day before they going to charge some batteries and it's okay because uh, every day we have big problem with enemies mortar uh, and if we go to charge two three times per day we understand we, we have more injured for these days but uh, with this quantity of batteries uh, we can save more lives and more health our people mm -hmm. yes of course uh, during this time some of batteries we lose uh, by by battles uh, two pieces may be broken by time we can charge it but i don't know i sent for my guy to try to fix it maybe it's small problem we will see yeah but for this long time we uh, lost only two batteries by not working by broken only two pieces all other that's not bad working. and by this this one is much better i think must be because the quantity power is much bigger and uh, possible and quantity of batteries maybe give us uh, possibility to not charge for two days maybe it's very good and it saves more and more lives the first thing i ever brought you i think was really a generator mm. maybe that was the first yes, thing yes yes uh it's still running uh the other rota uh, three rotas in 28 have those generators but uh it's like the more I learn mm, when you're sending a runner for a battery it's not fucking good it's not uh, every time every time someone has to leave position for ammunition mm -hmm. for uh, logistics water food but to lose it's, it's, okay. it's it's a risk but for me when I bought these ones they're not China copies uh, they're genuine Motorola when you told me that, like how many guys are at least not being risked, at least not becoming 300, thank God not becoming 200, it's so small, but you make for us very big deal. You don't know these things until you know them. All like all the things we're learning here. Uh, it's better than we can lose people only, only by some battles, you know, because uh, lose people during uh, routine, routine battles, it's very bad. Because uh, you lose some, you can lose some position if uh, if uh, enemy try to kill our guys during the walking for the food, walking for the radios. Yes, of course we need to transfer some food and water, but if we also need to run every three four hours to change batteries, it's also not so good. Now we uh, continue provide our rota more um, more possibilities to charge. Uh, 
sometimes we use some antennas to provide a better connection mm -hmm. to connect with family for example we try to keep our our possibilities more and more but not not usually possible to be grow up but these batteries for us uh, we can't do it by ourselves no possible to found because it's a very big time to found these batteries to found people to found uh, people that we can respect and give them money and uh, be sure that they give us uh, our stuff back mm -hmm. because uh, during this war uh, some people want to help us some people want to take our money and run it's what we can do and uh, is this possible possible to be in our country and also other countries it's not only our problem it's very big problem during all, all over the world in every country possible to find some bad bad guys who try to keep more money and don't think about our lives but usually we meet somebody like you <laughs> we are so lucky to meet you long time ago i am so lucky that uh, we have time on our medical station to speak to start our meeting to start our friendships it's very good and this our friendships come um, give our squad uh, too much during this friendship because if we not meet i don't know how many guys i lose if we speak only by radios it's possible to speak uh, i lose some guys if we not have enough radios connection and during the our battles you um i remember when we first met uh you you fought in mikhailayev you fought in kherson uh 28th brigade eventually come to donbass but what happened uh you you had not seen your wife for over one year uh, for that time yes how, how you you had time at home in odessa yes 10 days and during the, all this war 10 days at home tell me about it because i had my experience at home other friends are telling me what they're when they're getting their first leave of the war what's it like for you it's interesting question because uh, for that time it uh, have very big difference between me and my guys when i uh, give this vacation for my guys they go home and first uh, two three days spent to uh, you know like like when you remove some plant from one ground to other one yeah uh, she needs some time to but my people also need two three days to understand where they to not scare some people to to keep uh, keep distance between people because it's so so hard after the war uh, after that they have maybe three five days good time with family with children's uh, it's good time but after that they're going to have um, two three days before they need to come back and these days they're again uh, going to depression going to scary and don't like to come back don't like to lose his family and something like this but uh, during my vacation I have little bit other way because uh, during my vacation I need to continue my work yeah by distance and every day I need to be on connection every minute I need to be on connection with my phone I sleep with my phone all time with my phone and also during my vacation I visit uh, uh, free for my guys from my squad previous one who already have injured and already not in the army and also some families of my uh, died guys uh, i also visit them and all my day it's going like work little bit my wife uh, and, little bit uh, mamushka uh, little bit <laughs> uh, also coming to meet with my friends or army friends and little bit sleep and every day and this is the reason why when i come i i don't have these two three days to acclimatization and uh, two three days for happy i have only my continue routine work but uh, my wife near me only this like this and a little bit other bunker because uh, i have some i make some at my home also not so not finished uh, walls or something like yeah, this, yeah. and I have almost like the bunker. <laughs> <laughs> um, 
you know, this is something that, uh, like, I think about, um, like, guys who died. At some time, it's good that as many of us as possible, when we can, could be now, could be next year, but we go and meet the family, you know? Um, one of my friends, uh, one of my friends who died in, in Soledad, um, I've not met his mother or his father, but I've talked to them on the phone maybe three times. And that's the understanding. Someday, someday I will meet them. Um, also, you, you know, you told me the other day, like, uh, I kind of give you guys a name on my YouTube because like I'm on my Instagram, I'm sharing uh, the 28th Brigade band, you know, like playing like how you have the music, you know, the music band. Because I, I see their stuff they put out. It's nice. Um, and I'm calling I'm calling 28th Brigade Odessa Mafia. <laughs> and peop that name, like, people are starting to repeat it in the comments. Um, but you said to me yesterday, like, uh, now because of all the losses uh, since full-scale invasion, 28th Brigade is mostly not Odessa people. No, like the uh, still, still mostly Odessa. But uh, it starts uh, to come some people from all over Ukraine. If before we can choose, for mm -hmm. example, yes, people location, because uh, we hope that uh, we have the victory near the time and uh, better to people keep uh, near the home, mm -hmm. the army army duty near the home, it's very good. But for now we have no choice, we have not enough people, we take people all, uh, all over the Ukraine and what we can do. Well, this was... Uh you know, this is not common in American army, Canadian army, in the British army for many years and less and less, you join the regiment from your home county, your hometown, and this is the tradition. And many guys in Ukraine were like this, like Persha Tankova, they're from Chernyiv. You know, 72 brigade, most of them are from Kiev. Mm -hmm. But now, now it's, it's, you take whatever you can get. Yes. Um, I don't know, it's, it's very big experience, I think, for all all our world, because uh, everybody know what is army in in the in the peace, but uh, they don't know what is the army in the war, and uh, they not understand little bit. And for them, I think it's very good experience, and I want uh, to other countries take our experience, don't make our mistakes, don't make mistakes for this Russian Federation, uh, because if they continue to make some mistakes. You know, people's die, and we want to stop as many as possible. Um, I don't suppose. Uh, I don't suppose if it's appropriate, we show the watches. What do you mean? You know, from yesterday, yes, yes. you showed me. Um, I'd like, just out of curiosity, if people want, if people want to see this. Mm -hmm. um, Maybe it could help. Maybe later we will we okay. can show. I'll, edit that. I'll edit that out. But not in this regular videos. No, no, no. I understand. I'm going to go back to Kherson. But over maybe the next two days, two to four days, uh, I have more supplies for friends. Like um, uh, in Yampo, uh, in different units, and to bring them things. And also to show people like my friends, like you, because I think, I think the most, I think the most important thing, uh, people know who you are. People know who other people are, like my friend Jenya. And, and unfortunately, I only speak English, but so do 90% of the people who, I have some Ukrainians who also yes, follow yes, my yes. stuff. But, uh, and also we try to continue this tradition I, because I sent our videos to many people and I know that uh, some part of my friends also start watching your movies, watching your work and I just, continue I just, growing. I just want people to know that you exist, that Samurai exists, you know, like um, it's the more, the more and more people know who we are the more they uh the less they can forget us and uh because i'm i'm scared you know that uh that maybe this goes on for another two years you know i but i i want i want as many people to know to know my friends as possible
and even though I'm leaving, um, of course we'll see each other again, but thanks to, thanks to Dimitri uh, and other people, like obviously I can't, I, I won't be helping as much as, as I did before because if I'm in Kherson, I can help more in Kherson. Um, but now we have a good little network, we have friends, there's people that can be trusted, like if, if we can get something, it might take two weeks, it might take a month, but we can still make it happen. I hope, I hope. Um, what did you think of the Sustrome? <laughs> it's, uh, from my side, uh, the best uh, that my guy, my Dima medic, my medic, yeah. he's want to make something he wants something from his life because uh, you know all we are here have only one target and work until we finish this target but uh, by emotional it's very hard to keep uh, these guys together and uh, every day when we have uh, you know every day I have met make some meeting make some discuss make some teaching them something new it's everyday procedure every day but uh, some other squads uh, it looks like lessons you know very hard lessons somebody need to write something somebody need to listen listen and going to be sleep but every time when i make these lessons i try to make first time of lesson first part of the lesson like little bit uh, like in joke style little mm. speaking to make it to make them smile and also if i see somebody uh, looks uh, worse than another one i try to make uh, more in, i try to make more for him and we together smiling and only after I understand that all uh, all of my people is now listening smiling and uh, after that we start learn something more serious and make some also some videos or something like that and uh, this is the reason why my people uh, all time try to keep themselves because they understand that we are trying to make for for them all this same like with Sustroming they ask he asks you he don't know he, you can make this or not it took uh, four but, months but but he, but he think uh, okay we will try we will see and now you see uh, he he look about this he very happy and uh, now we have some videos to transfer other guys and we make little bit more happy more smiles for one two days for my for my people it's very good because you make for him a little uh, he also been in, in uh, vacation now yeah 15 day, 15 days not 10 15 ah. yes yes 15 because he working so hard and uh, he also a little bit work there he not uh, he also not usual like me and we work together i try not to not give him too much but uh, he little bit make me assistance mm. and uh, now he guy. come he come back he little bit better but I understand that this is not enough not enough even if you give him one month it's not enough because uh, to keep rest after this war after this uh, battle action you need more and more than years not not months uh, this is the reason why your uh, your small deal with this Ustroming makes them happy for one two days it's very good for me also and this is the cheapest thing I've bought like now now this is your your radio batteries. I'm not even going to take them all out now, but that's where they come from. They're set 70 batteries times 90 British pounds each. Uh, that's for life. But the Sustroming cost like five euros, and it's for laugh. This is for life. That's for laugh. You know, like it's not the. Uh, it's not. It seems stupid, but it's not stupid. You know, like uh, from I don't know. I'm always doing things like, like. You remember, you remember at the med point with Yulka and then where we meet. And Samurai used to beat the shit out of me, but I would, I would fuck with him, and you would let him beat me up, but not so bad that, uh, okay, enough, enough. But I'm almost, I'm 37. I'm almost 40 years old, but I've, I've always, I've always still keep some of me like a, like a child. And some people think it's weird, but. When people are laughing, I don't care if they laugh at me or they're just laughing, they're not crying. You make people's butt, <laughs> I'm sure. <laughs> yeah, we, 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 we make Peters die and we make Ukrainians laugh. Um, but, you know, it's been, it's been a real pleasure coming back um, 
to see uh, some of the guys I know. And, and if I can confess, I do feel guilty because uh, I'm, not, I'm not bragging, but there's many people from Kostintinivka to Chasavyar to Le Mans, they know me. Like, uh, but I don't always remember everyone's name. Because like every guy's a Bova, a Dima, a Sasha, a Sasha's too many fucking Sasha's. But it, it kind of makes me sad that I that I won't be here. But like you guys helped me. Um, just for example, when I moved to Avdivka from here, um, we needed uh, we needed um, shelves, metal shelves. Uh, what was the word? Metal niche uh, Shafa, Shafa. You know this. I, I'm learning. But I met a guy from uh, 20 Ypres Brigade from the Rota in Kostantinivka, and we were at uh, at the Oko, like at the at the gas station. And he's like Brandon, and uh, with with a couple pictures and like maybe 15 words of Russian, he knew what I was looking for. He's like Davai, Davai, and I was going to go to Chasevyar to look where the Peters hit hit like a magazine, like shops, and take it out of the buildings. And my friend says, you can't do this. And I say, it's for MedPoint. I'll do what the fuck I want. Uh, within reason, you know. But just because I was in Kostantinivka, but pe people, it's like, you care for me. But there's other people that care for me. It's like, oh, he's, I don't know what they think of me. But it's like, oh, the foreign guy, we better help him because he's doesn't speak the language. He's not here. But that's how a lot of, just because someone knows me and they're worried about me, um, I've been able to do a lot of things because they, they know to look and then, oh, can you help me with this? Can 20, 28 Brigade is helping 36 Brigade, which is working in support of 53 Brigade just because of like, it, my, I, I sound like a politician uh, because you, my weakness is my strength. No, but that, that's, yes. how, that's why so many Ukrainian, uh, so much army, especially in Donbass, they know me. It's like, oh, that's that stupid Canadian. We, we hope he doesn't get killed. So we must help. <laughs> From our side, never, never think like this. We have a little bit other <laughs> mm. thinking about you. I love you too. Not so good, don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> um, don't ask how I know these words. No um, problem. But, but I'm I know that Babushka learned you some some new stuff. Yeah, many <laughs> Babushkas <laughs> learn stuff. Um, you know, I I talked to Dimitri about it. Um, I don't want to be too sad, but um, I was in Kherson when you came to Kiev for Yoda's funeral, and you met his wife, his family. Um, I know this. But like Dimitri was talking about it, his funeral was at such a time for so much time. And then they're waiting, that time must be over so another funeral can start. Um, I just want like, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know how to do this. I don't even know if it's right. I don't know if I'm being arrogant, but like um, when all our friends, we have good friends in Western countries. Who are helping in every way you know um otherwise we're dead we're fucking dead but everyone is saying slava ukraine like we are always winning we are always and maybe we have to think like this but um i just i pray that government will give us more weapons to finish this sooner because Yes, I, I know we will win, but I don't want to lose more Yodas. I don't want to lose you. I don't want to lose Samurai. And the only way this is possible is we need to kill Peters faster. As fucked up and as it is, we need more Heimar. We need more shit. Uh, so less Ukrainians must die. I, um, I don't know. Uh, I wish I could... I Every every day, uh, we talked yesterday. You know, I said, "How many how many Peters do you think I've killed with my rifle?" Zero. How many have I killed with my iPhone? Oh. I tried the best for you. I keep Thank trying. You. Thank you. It's uh, you know we uh, understand that everybody from the world uh, try to help us by weapons, by technique, by. Uh, 
some money sometimes uh, some clothes some armor it's okay but we understand also that not too much people uh, want to be with us with in like I mean in our deck because when we make some victories everybody with us but uh, when our guys is going to be die it's nobody nobody with us in, in these situations it's hard to speak but uh, every time when we speak about this uh, we start to think who who going be with us until the end and you know list of our volunteers list of uh, guys who help us it's very big but uh, who with us until until our dying list not so big and this is the reason why i'm so sad also during this uh, funery because it's very hard to see how much people we we have stayed together and i don't know what we have in the end of this world because uh, as much as possible you have too much uh, weapon it's okay but people's not <laughs> nobody give us our people's nobody no. give back our guys nobody and give this, us is, this is the reason why it's so hard give us even guns you have, give us even, books, even you give have javelins even you have abrams even you have atacams even you have high mars doesn't matter even you have all f16 yes you haven't enough people's human souls humans and uh, you see we lose uh, our best best peoples because uh, you can see in during this war from our side i see businessmen i see politics uh, at, the, at the war i mean in army not uh, in kiev i mean mm. here i see politics i i see some businessmen uh, i see some teachers to my teachers uh, I see many guys from dif different uh, ways, engineers, very good uh, IT, guys from IT, uh, too much guys. And what we see, uh, what we see from Russian side, because they try to utilize uh, the guys who they no need too much. We send our best, they we, send their we, worst. Not we send, our guys go by themselves, not send, because they send. Mm. We can speak about Russians, they send some peoples. We not say send some people. So we uh, going to connect together and go to remove this the speeders from our country. It's not not it's a very big different because uh, this is the reason why I start this start this words. It's understand. big difference. They send the, they empty their prisons, their criminals, their the people they some don't poor people they so, don't care about. Yes, and our best guys come. And. Uh, in the end, we will see how much we how much we spend, how much we lose in this war. We lose much more than them. If if we lose, uh, doesn't matter. If they lose ten times more than than me than our country, it's uh, doesn't matter because we lose more. Because cost of my my people so much more. It's a little bit maybe not. Uh, I I can speak like this, but I speak like this because I see it every day. Because if we have some somebody take somebody alive, he he live uh, drunk every day, for example, or he is from prison come here to kill us. But from our side, when we have some guys, I look and these guys have own life. They have wives, they have children, they make some money. Education. Ed yes, of course, education also. Uh, Dima, you you were working in marine industry. You've been in different countries. Dima, Dima was telling me he had he had possibility to take a German citizenship because of his uh, he's petroleum engineer. Uh, smart people, smart fucking people. Um, like, look at I I know you say IT people. Uh, one of my friends is Tabarona in Zaporizhia, um, which is kind of cool because. From, he's from Zaporizhia city, so he's getting to see his family more than obviously you. But he he was working uh, in France for a French company, and then he comes home. Uh, my friend Natalie, she's a dentist, Australia, nine years. The war starts, she comes home. And these are good people. Uh, like you say, the best people. But, and even now, the work, it never stops.
what you can do. I don't know. During my vacation, I also sometimes uh, go to sleep and at two o'clock, at four o'clock, I, I already have injured. And this is the way why I not forget about that and I can't, I can't come back home. I'm still here. Even I'm there, I'm still here. I still continue to call them, ask what is the situation, what is the situation, what happened, what we can do to, to fix it. Can I ask you something um, very personal with family, your wife, your mother? Only if very personal. Yeah, no, it's always personal. Um, when, I, when I went home, uh, you know, I, I have family, I have loved ones. But I was, I was very, I became aware that I'm not giving them, even when I'm with them, I'm not giving them what I used to give them. Do you understand? Like, uh, this is just me. Like, uh, I'm good, of course, to my family, but I'm not mentally, emotionally. Give them I'm enough. with them. I'm not with them. Yes, I understand. Do you under I feel it also. Uh, she know it. If we speak about my wife, she know it, she understand it. She never uh, speak me that I'm not give enough or something like that. She understands that my situation is uh, is very hard and uh, she's situation is also very hard to understand. And we understand each other, try to understand each other because we can't totally understand, but uh, we try. Every day we're speaking about this, we try it. Sometimes I can't uh, call, call her to speak because I understand if I call now, it was very hard and uh, I don't know, maybe we have not good discussion or maybe she's crying. I Sometimes I don't call by this reason. You want to be in a good state of mind to call? Not, not bad, I speak not bad state of mind. Yeah. Good, it's very too much good. It's, I don't know, it's like, uh, and even when I'm here, I get messages from home like from friends, from family, and sometimes they start to tell me about their problems, mm -hmm. and then they say, oh, well, I shouldn't complain, I'm not, I'm not there. But at the same time, I cannot commit a lot to their problems, but it also makes me feel better, because it's like, I can still be, I can still be, you know, a brother, a, a, a son, a, a lover. This is the reason why we try to continue our work. We continue work together. Uh, before were we starting some business, now we have some different way, mm -hmm. but we continue work. This work uh, uh, help us to keep mine in good condition. We speak about this, we fix some problems. We uh, talking about the talking, future. Talking about these problems, we fix it, make some orders, uh, make some some changes in our politics uh, in this work and uh, also this uh, we start this to keep uh, some little bit money for our squad also uh, our business continues to help little bit buy something stuff to our squad this is the reason and she understand also she makes some help she all time speak me that she makes not enough she thinks she make not enough she all time ask me to <laughs> Uh, join army, but I speak. Uh, if you join, we all be here, and we we can fix some home problems. We also have some some animals, some work, some business. We can fix all if you come here also, and uh, you understand. You make some mistake, and this is all time we speak about this. She uh, she crying for the, she make not enough all time. All time we speak about this that she make not enough. But uh, when we speak about this, I, s I, I speak, uh, look, you have too much people that make not enough, nothing. They make nothing. They do nothing. Almost nothing. Uh, many people from, from countries think that they, now they, it's safe, it's political war, and uh, they no need to do something. It's very bad condition because uh, by news, you look that, uh, oh, our army is strange, we fuck every pedos on our country, mm -hmm. no problem. But real, it's every meter of uh, when we go forward, every meter, it's our blood. And uh, not every people understand it. They understand that, okay, we are good, they are uh, idiots, they don't uh, know how to use it, um, shahets or giran 
or some drones, other drones, type of drones, type of rockets. They think they not how don't know how to work it. But every night you see uh, half country under this uh, this air alarm, and uh, every night we have uh, we damage some of these rockets. We but some of them come to the target, and this is every day. Yes, we also now make some some bavovna to the peters, but uh, you understand from our side you see what's which the target we have it's yeah. army army a airport i mean uh, military airport yeah. some ammunition and something like that but russian rockets every day coming to the civilian civilian buildings anything shop and something like this not like factory you can imagine how many factories they drop by these rockets. I don't remember last time nothing. I know only civilian buildings, some shops and dying civilian people. In Kostantinivka last same, two weeks ago. Same situation, 17, uh, 17 guys are dead. It's, but from our side we all time use it only on army, on army. And uh, if you see some, somebody death, it's uh, directly from Russian army. Russian Federation, it's normal target for us. And uh, from our side also very hard to understand when you fight every day, when my guys fight every day, they ask me why, uh, why is this situation coming to be like this? Because uh, they ask about politics, politics side. Uh, why they not understand that these guys try to kill our families? Not us. This rocket's not coming to our position. They going to our families. Children. And don't uh, and why they don't uh, look about this? Why? Why NATO or some uh, United uh, this organization? Why they don't look about this? They only can speak, and my guys don't understand how it's possible. They have motivated to save their families, but how they can save their families if they here make fighting? But uh, Russia Federation continued to launch missiles to our home. What they can do? We can't be everybody in uh, anti-air defense, yeah? Of course. What we can do? And they continue fighting, uh, we, and we don't know what to be tomorrow, because also my wife uh, lives in cities that uh, every day under the, this air attacks, and I don't know what happened tomorrow. I don't know. She also needs to make something to work, and... She can't live in bunker. This is our life every day now. I remember in Dnipro, uh, I was I brought a broken Starlink, and we did not know if it was possible to fix a Starlink. This was over one year ago, and uh, there was one place that could fix a Starlink. <coughs> and this morning in Dnipro, there was a big missile attack. And I went to the shop where the guys are, I called them, and I said, uh, where are you? Mm -hmm. He says, uh, we need your help to fix the Starlink. Oh, we're in, we're in the basement, we're in the basement because of the missile attack. I said, uh, yes, I understand this, please, but the missile attack is over. Come and help us, because we need the Starlink in Soledad. And I'm going back tonight, please, please, please. And he's like, okay. And... Uh, at the end, he's happy he did this because you cannot stay in the bunker. It's like if if we don't um, if we don't move, it doesn't matter. Even if we're moving slowly forward, the most dangerous thing moving. and deadly thing is staying still. Yes. One week, one month, this one year. This is the reason why we our preparation for uh, for this attack. Our preparation was long, and uh, enemy prepared for this attack. And this is the reason why now it's so hot and so bloody. It is what it is. And we go on. What you showed me yesterday, uh, you know, the video that I did not want to watch the end of it. I I will not show it on my YouTube. Yeah, so but if you, possible to show. But if you send it to me, I will give people the option to go and look at it. Because I've seen this once myself. And uh, make no mistake who the enemy is. This is the real war. I, and I've seen it like that. I've seen it once. Um, and 
they don't care. They just kill us, kill us, kill us, kill us, kill us, and and we don't have a chance. Uh, so we we have to keep preparing and preparing and go again. But uh, I would I would uh, I would like to give people the opportunity if they want to see yes, that sort of thing. If they want, yes. that is the real war, and that is the truth. And yeah. also it's a big problem of uh, now this 21st century it's a, a censor of uh, information because uh, uh, for example same Instagram or some other social media they don't want to show people what happened really they only make it like sensitive content and mm -hmm. remove remove and uh, Russian can uh, put some cross and nobody nobody see it and this is also a big problem because, uh, you know, when full, full massive war start here, everybody forget about some sensitive or something like that. Everybody look, look for this blood, look for this dead, and they understand. This is the reason why all world not understand what happened because they don't see blood, we don't, they don't uh, check the smell, they don't see the bodies every day this is the reason why nobody uh, understand us same like uh, in some or big organization uh, they don't understand fully what happened because uh, everybody looks some special action films last years yeah it looks like everybody shooting somebody drop but you'd never see some blood or something like that like third assault yes yes yeah yeah Yes, they, 10 guys come to kill 100 guys, no problem, and they all, all that guys looks like sleeping, you know, but never you, they show you how it looks like if uh, body looks without arms, legs, head and something like that. And when, this they, is the reason when they why, stick to you. Yes, and they this fucking is stick to you. the reason why people from all around the world sometimes not understand what happened every day, because uh, they are a little bit sensitive. And this is a choice of each of them. If somebody wants to know this information, they found a way to look about this. But if you look only TV, it looks like uh, we have some damage, Russian have some damage, and sometimes we finish. But they not understand that every day I lose my brothers, I lose uh, part of my new family. Uh, every, everybody, uh, every family in Ukraine every day lose their sons and daughters they completely sometimes not understand what happened here i don't like to push them but it's easy to look when it's not in your country i understand it's easy and nobody like to make die his family i understand i'm not push that guys you need to come here it's like all over the world war no mm -hmm. i not speak like this but I want these people uh, take take this like teaching for for their and for their sons for future. They must understand that next war will be the last, completely. If they not understand this, same like uh, situation in ecology, you know, same same. If they not understand, it will be the last. Our our um, our peoples will be the last, and our sons can't live in this planet. If they think that it's local conflict, it's a big mistake. It's very big mistake because uh, this federation it's, uh, wants to grow and grow. And doesn't matter who will be next. But people don't trust in this. They think it's, oh, it's not about us. We are not next. It's not about us. First not, will not be me, Europe. Not yes, my yes. problem. First will be Europe. And you see some Europe countries understand it. Poland for example, understand what will happen if Ukraine shut down. They understand. But other Europe, not too much understand what happened next 10, 20, 30, 50 years. Nobody care about this. Everybody now think most, most of this organization looks like they make some business and con continue to think about five years uh, they think about next five years and they think that, uh, oh, we can make business after five years with Russia again because it's cheap, because it's good for us, good for our people. Yes, of course, good for people if uh, this gas is not, not so expensive, yes, not from America, not from other countries. It's good, but they not understand that uh, 
it's terrorist and it will be terrorist five years, ten years, twenty years next and again and again. They don't like to learn the story. Because it hurts. Yes. It's like going to the gym. Uh, it's like uh, they look about uh, good life. It's better than uh, bad truth. The lie that is easy to live with or the truth that is hard to deal with. Yes. I'm going to hit the road. I'm going to go. And uh, we see each other when we see each other again. We keep on connection like usual. <laughs> of course, of course. And um, I want to thank you again uh, for the... Where is the Podyakas? Podyaka? Oh, we need to show this Podyaka. Wait, wait. And for Dima oh, put, as put well, you have Dimitris? Yes. Can we show his? Yes, he already know. <laughs> and I covered Dimitris' name because uh, this is called the Podyaka. Um, this is for Dimitri, but Dimitri is not the name his mother gave him. He chooses his own to be cool. But he's he's a long demon. time ago. I don't know his his real uh, name. We cannot I say he will get so upset. And, he, and I ask why I call you wrong uh, this year. <laughs> but uh, this is saying thank you uh, for service to Twenty Eight Brigade. And uh, Dimitri's mother watches my YouTube. All her friends in America, <laughs> you should be very proud of your son. He's a good boy. We spent some time with discussion with my commanders also to make it like from not only from my rota, but made it from all of brigade. Same like this, Brandon Mitchell. <laughs> Odiaka. Thank you. I, uh, I just want to tell the truth about these. Like, uh, for me, this is not from 28 brigade. It's not like from Ukraine. It's from you guys because there's many people uh, in Kiev, there's other foreigners, they have 20 of these, 30 of these. And I'm not saying they don't do good things, but one man from Sweden once who I've never met, he tried to give me bandages that we don't need. Uh, and I even asked different doctors, do we need this bandage? And he says, Ukraine needs it. And you must give me official request letter and a pojaka. And he's asking like, uh, he collects them like uh, like people collect football cards, but I have two uh, from Soledar when I went boom and I become famous uh, uh, from from ninety three brigade and but I don't know those guys like I know you you understand and getting Pojaka from you is very nice because we're close friends and also I didn't have to become three hundred <laughs> so. To to be uh, to be friend here, you no need to be injured. Don't yeah. worry, uh, we'll not shoot you. So okay. far, my experience uh, working with Twenty Eight Brigade is is easier <laughs> than Ninety Three Brigade. So let are. Depend of peoples. You're my brother. <laughs> it's cool. It's cool. Can we show a finish off the picture of samurai? I want to show them. If I... It's okay. I love that guy. He was sleeping last night, but this morning before he went on position, got to talk to Samurai a little bit. It's crazy. People who we do not even speak the same language, just to see each other. It's okay, we will translate. <laughs> Fucking Samurai. Yeah, but uh, you don't need to translate because Samurai knows and I know. We're always fucking with each other. That's all our relationship is. How can I fuck with Samurai? How can he beat me up? It's cool. 